Okay, let us now understand what are prime numbers and what are some of the properties of a prime number. Right? So first, let's understand what are prime numbers. A prime number is a number which is divisible only by two factors and these factors are basically one and the number itself. So let's take an example for this. What does this mean? This means that a number which is divisible only by two factors that is one and the number itself. So let's take an example of 7. If you divide 7 by 1 you will get what? 7. If you divide 7 by 2 you will get what? 3.5. If you divide 7 by 3 again it is going to be the result is going to be in decimals. If you do it it is going to come basically 2.3 and some more and so on. But if you divide 7 by 7, you will get 1. Now for 7, you can continue dividing it by any number, right? But you are always going to get these decimals, except if you see that 7 can be divided by 1 to give 7, right? So 1 is an exact divisor of 7, and 7 can also be divided by 7. So 7, therefore, we conclude is a prime number. Why? Because 7 can be divided by 1 and 7 or 1 and itself. Right? Similarly, if you see there are other numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7 I have already taken so I will just write it down 7, 11, 13, 17 and many more. All these numbers have a common characteristic that they can be exactly divided right or they have only two factors. Two factors one is the number one itself and the second is the number itself. They cannot be a third divisor of a prime number. Right? So basically, these are what are called the prime numbers. Now let's say there are certain other numbers as well, something which is called a composite number. A composite number is the one which has more than two factors. This could be three, they could be 4, they could be 5, 6, whatever. So let's say for example we take a number here, 6. 6 can be divided exactly by 1 to give 6. If you divide 6 by 2, it will give you 3. Right? 6 cannot be divided again by 3. If you divide 6, it gives you 2. It is not divisible by exactly by 4. So 4 is not a factor. Again 5 does not divide 6 exactly and 6. So now if you see basically the factors of 6 are what? 1, 2, 3 and 6. Right? So all these numbers are factors of 6. So therefore 6 is called a composite number. Now having known these two numbers there are certain properties that one should be aware about these numbers. And what are this? When we talk about prime numbers, 2 is the only even prime number that exists. Right? And it is not only the even, it is also the lowest prime number. Why? Because if before 2, you, the only number that you have is 1. Now 1 is neither a prime number, neither 
prime nor composite but 2 is the lowest prime number right and the only even prime number all other prime even numbers are composite all even number are composite except 2 right now if you notice in this particular thing let me just write down these numbers here also 2 3 5 7 11 13 7 17 okay now if you notice here basically 3 and 5 okay or if you notice let's say for example 5 and 7 so 3 and 5 5 and 7 so what's the common between these two sets of numbers the common thing between these two sets of numbers is that both of them are prime right 3 and 5 are both prime because we've just taken the collection of prime numbers only and they are consecutive odd numbers right so these kinds of numbers are known as twin primes which means that these are two consecutive odd number which are prime right similarly for 5 7 also right now there is also something which is called prime triplet just like the word twin primes triplet suggests there has to be three prime numbers which are consecutive now if you notice three 5 and 7 are three consecutive odd numbers which are prime. So we call them as prime triplet. Right? So these are some of the properties of prime number.